video we are going to be introduction to self referential structure in c so what is meant by self referential structure structure we know we it has to start with the keyword struct then followed by a name for the structure and then the members of the structure but here what we do is we add one more uh, member which is nothing but a link to itself so it's referring to this same structure so for example this is a separate member this is another member whereas if you see this declaration it is of the struct node which is of the same type so and then we give a, a name for this uh, member so it which means when you declare and with a star here which is nothing but a pointer so it says that this is referring to itself that means this particular member is of type this okay that's the meaning so it is of the same place that is why it is called self referential structure as an example we will see it is of two type one is single link and multiple link self referential structure is of two type one is single link and multiple link we'll first see the single link this we generally called in data structure as single link list and here with this we call it as a doubly link list now we'll see first the single link list here this is a data uh, this is a data portion okay this is a structure this whole thing is a structure where this is one data type one more member another member and then the last one will be the of the same type it is referring to this so which means here if you see when you add data it will create a structure of the same type now if you add another one it is also of the same type that's why it's called a self referential structure now this is a link link to the another structure which is of the same type okay here if you see that why it is multiple link is here movement is from that is this this can be connected to this and this can be connected to this okay this link uh, can be connected so in two way you can access this now let us take an example how to declare a self referential structure in c so struct you have to give a name for this then a data type some any members and then here this self referential thing that is structure uh, here we have to give the name of the structure then a point, uh, star that is which means a pointer variable so the follow is a pointer variable and this points to the same time because here see here we have given the same name now as an example here we'll see star node then a lo local member and this is another member which is of the type structure so here star given same name and then star next so which means it is pointing to this now we'll see with an example see here start ref i have given a name as ref okay then roll number mark these are all the two data within this structure and then start ref yeah i give the same name followed by a star which is saying that this is a pointer and this is pointing to the same structure so which means um, it's like this see here it will be like this here when you give a roll number say for example i am giving a roll number then i am giving a mark say for example 90 okay and this is one structure and this is a pointer to the next structure which is of the same type so when you create another structure it will be of the same type now it is pointing to this where again the first field will be a roll number second field will be a mark again when you create another one this is also again pointing to the same structure. so it is called it is self-referential structure okay since it is referring to that and it is connecting to the another structure okay now when you see this see here struct ref we are giving a name for this self-referential structure okay obj1 uh, this is a local variable now how you will refer first you have to make this link to be a null okay initially it will not be connected so you've created a null then you will be connecting this and this and so on so first we get the value for this roll number uh, as usual how we have received data here i have assigned the data initialized the data so roll number 100 mark then another structure variable let us say this is obj1 and this is obj2 we are creating that and then here again i clear this now then we assign value now we are linking this and this can be linked like this obj1 dot link by calling the link field 
equal to ampersand. So when which means it's like this. See here. Suppose it is in the memory thousand one five. Assume this is stored because all are pointers, isn't it? So it is stored in the memory one zero one five, and this is stored in one zero one six. Let us imagine. In this case, what you do by this link is. 1015, this is 1015, this is memory address. So in this, you are actually writing 1016 here. In this. Okay, which means when you write 1016, now it, it says that it is pointing to this. Okay, now it is addressing. That is what here we are doing. We are assigning the address of OBJ2 in the link of OBJ1. So after you access this, this can be accessed and so on by moving a pointer. You can assign a pointer and then after reading this, now you can read this value by getting the information, address information from here. That is why it is called self-referential structure as well as they are connected. Okay.